Hey. I also fixed some technical issues, John. I, I stepped into the role and fixed the technical <laughs> problems. Champion looking for Porter inside, finds him and scores. Putting Troy Cracknell back on with two fouls as Champion straight away on the catch and shoot drills a three. Guy who's been unusually quiet so far, Silla with the offensive rebound, blocked by Jackson. The intensity just being raised a little bit here as Jackson goes at Silla and gets it to go. Fourth turnover actually for the Rockets. In this game so far, Champion driving inside. Beautiful pass and Pinnock with an easy finish. There's a turnover there, here is Cracknell. Cracknell at the foul line, gets it to go. Then goes inside and kicks it out to Cracknell. Cracknell to Ben Dixon. Gets a three to go. Jenkins finds a bit of room and strings it. A long two for Jeremiah Jenkins. And that'll do for the first quarter. Jenkins looking for the pick and roll with Jackson and finds Panda inside. Dixon. Dixon goes glass and gets it to go. For him took a shot nearly off the elbow as Porter comes the other way and lays it up and in. Timeout call by Drew Spinks as the Rockets take a 28 to 26 lead. Oh, ben Fisher dropped a mic there when he said that. Panda driving at Rye inside to Pinnock. Open man is Jenkins for three. The Johnson now moves on to eight points and. Stays on four assists. Champion inside to Jackson. Jackson muscling his way in, counted and a foul. Jordan Jackson having a great first half here for the Rockets. And Taylor Johnson with the easy dunk. Jenkins driving, gets it to go and one. What a move from Jeremiah Jenkins. Final seconds of the half, Johnson or Jenkins, excuse me, puts in a three and a buzzer. Great basket there for the Rockets. And just what they need to end this first half. They trail by six, they were trailing by 11 with 25 seconds remaining. And if you've just tuned in to the Basketball England YouTube channel, welcome everybody, so, many, so great to have you all on board here today from wherever you are across the world as Jordan Jackson gets that short hook to go. Jump shot and Hemel just run the other end. Jenkins, nice up and under, beautiful move from Jeremiah Jenkins. Questionable call you have to say, but we have the benefit of replays, the referees don't as uh, Jeremiah Jenkins knocks down a three, or a two, excuse me, his feet were on the line. 17 for 24 from the free throw line. Reading just three of six as Jenkins puts in a three. They're not just, they're not managing to find it. And a rare turnover there from the Storm, and now it's numbers here for the Rockets and Panda with the layup for Hemel. Final seconds. And Round puts in a three at the buzzer. Isaac Round in the corner answers back, but the end of the third period. I just think first half as well, Reading defended the actions better. I know there's an emphasis from Coach Samet in the week. They just seem to defend screening actions so much better this, this half. They... Either way, Rockets will keep possession. Even the Reading fans behind the basket are laughing at that one as Jenkins again puts in a three and looks towards the Hemel fans who were just from the Basketball England uh, <laughs> shot. But either way, <laughs> Reese Pinnock going inside and lays it up and in. It's always nice to know that we can provide entertainment for our, uh, our viewers today. Just on the touching on the uh, the Mark Halewood for the BBL comment. Either way, got a feeling this will be the last time NBL Live comes to Reading with me and Fish. <laughs> <laughs> Reese Pinnock strings a three as Rockets still not cleared for takeoff as there was a storm cloud brewing here at Loddon Valley.
as the Hemel Storm will come away with a 103-79 win here today.